What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Janice. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. Guys, today I have the best revenge prank possible. So a couple of years ago, Isaiah did a prank on me where he got his ex a Christmas gift. So guys, guess what? I am going to be getting my ex a Christmas gift because my ex actually invited me to a party and we are going to get his reaction. Now guys, I have the gift here. And it's all wrapped and ready to go. What Isaiah doesn't know is this is actually a gift for him. He's been wanting these pair of sneakers for some time now. So I went ahead and I got it for him. But he doesn't know that, obviously. So guys, Isaiah's upstairs chilling. So I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to prank that ass. So if you guys are ready for today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down below, Team Janice. And let's get this prank started. Hi, babe. Whoa, 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 what? whoa, what? whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I help you? Yeah, you can help me. Come here. Oh. Why are you just running across the bedroom with a gift? Whose gift is that? Mine. What do you mean yours? Who gave it to you? Nobody. Can I go put it in the closet, please? No, why are you just speed walking across the thing? With... Because I didn't want you to look at it. Is that for me? No. Are you lying? Here we go. Are I'm not lying? lying. It is not for you. Bro, if you tell me it's for me, I won't pry and I won't ask for hints or anything. Oh, uh, first of all, that's a lie because you always try to get it out of okay, me. Okay, you have my word. That Can I, I have not. a hint? Bro, Can I have a hint? I won't ask you for hints. Is it? Is it for me? No, it's not for you. Sorry. You're such a liar, bro. Bro, why, why would I lie? You're such a bad liar. Then why would you just like run across the room trying to hide it from me? Because maybe I just didn't want you to see it. Because it's for me. No, it's not for you, like I said. Then who's it for? Nobody. Nobody, again. Bro, just tell me it's for me. I won't ask questions. You can go hide it or whatever. You can go put it under the tree. Bro. All right, can I go put it in the closet, please? Why would you put it in the closet? Go put it under the Christmas tree. No, I don't I don't need to put it under the Christmas tree. I'm not going to go open it. Babe, it's not for you. Then who's it for if it's not for me? You're trying to hide don't it from me. Don't worry about it. Why you would, don't what to know everything. Why else would you hide a gift from me? You're acting mad sus, like, all right, just say it's for me and I'll leave you alone. I'm How gonna... am I acting sus? Bro, because you're trying to run across the room, trying to hide the gift that's in, like, I can see you running with the gift. Okay. You're not, you're not good at hiding it. Like I said, if it's for me, just tell me and I'll, I'll just leave you alone. For the millionth time, it's not for you. Okay, then who's it for? Like, is it for your cousins, your family? Like, no, what? it's not for any of them. Okay, so then who's it for? Babe, can I just go put it in the closet, please? Why do you need to know everything? I'm just asking you a simple question. I just want I to just don't want you to know the answer. That's all it why is. Why can't I know whose gift it is? Is it your gift? No. Okay, so why can't I know who you got a gift for? It's a simple question. I'm not I'm just asking. Because if I tell you, then I know you're going to get mad because I know you already. Why would I get mad at you getting a gift? Bro, don't tell me, don't tell me that you got one of our friends an expensive, extravagant gift when it's not needed. Please don't tell no. me you went all out. Please I mean, don't tell me you went all out. It's kind of expensive, but it's not for one of our friends. So what is it for, your family? No. Then who's it for, your mom? Let's just say it's for a friend from the past, and I'm gonna leave it at that. That sounds weird. How does it sound weird? A friend from the past. That sounds like, I don't know, like you got someone a gift that like from a person that like passed away or something like that. No, that sounds, that sounds, it's nothing like that. That sounds weird. It's just somebody who's like not really in my life anymore, but I guess you could say like they were really important in my life at one point. The who? Just tell me who. It's a simple question. I'm, Bro, I don't you're making know it this big, babe, You're making it this big thing. You're making it this. I'm, I'm making asking, a big thing because I know how you're gonna act. I know how you're gonna I, act. How am I gonna act? Why? What? I literally just asked you a simple question: Who's the gift for? And you're like beating around the bush and all that. Just be straight up, bro. Do you seriously want me to tell you? No, babe. I, I didn't ask you like a million times. But Please. you can't get mad if I tell you. If I tell you the whole heart and truth, you cannot get mad. Promise me. I can't promise that because I don't know. No, what you promise might say. me you won't get mad because you want to know so bad. So I'm gonna tell you. Who's but the gift for? Won't get mad. Who's the gift for? Promise me you won't get mad. I'm not gonna promise you that, bro. Bruh, promise me. Promise you that. No, I'm not gonna promise you that. It's for my ex. You're who? Oh God. You it's for you. Right. It's for your who? For my ex. Your ex. Here we go. Just give it to me. I know. I know you're gonna get mad, so give it to me. You expect me to be cool with you giving your ex a gift? Yes. That's what you're telling me. 
You have no choice. I already did it. Why so did you it. give your ex? Why are you getting your ex a gift? I already told you. Now can I go put it in the closet? Why did you get your ex a gift? Answer that. Because I wanted to. It was a kind gesture. Don't look at me like that. So that that's what we're doing now. We're getting our ex's gifts as a kind gesture. You're in the holiday spirit. That's what you're doing. So if I go ahead and go get my ex a gift, it's okay? His family invited me to a Christmas party. So I said yes, because we're not on back. Why are you going to your ex's family's function? Let's talk about that first. I didn't want to show up empty handed. I obviously- Why did you say yes? You're, why are you going to that? Because we didn't end on bad terms. We were really close. Why would I not? Okay, so if old girl from like six, seven years ago hits me up and be like, yo, my family wants you to come to the Christmas party we're having. You're okay with me saying yes to that? And I go? And I get her a gift at that? No. Also, but it's okay for you to do it. I'm supposed to be cool with that. That's what you said. I'm supposed to be cool because, with that. Because, like, you know that my family's, like, cool with them too. So it's, like, not Since awkward. when is your family cool with his family? Bro, seriously, like, this is why I didn't want to tell you anything. Because I knew you would act this way. We don't have bad blood. We don't have any issues. I don't care about we any of that, bro. Bad. I don't care about any of that. Once y'all done, y'all done, and that's it. But we, there ain't no getting gifts for each other. There ain't no more, like, keeping in contact. That's Bro, that's not happening. You know that's not what we do in our relationship. Listen, we Because we know damn well you would have a problem if I were doing the same thing. And we said that from the jump from our relationship, that we're not going to disrespect each other in any way. And we both know how we feel about each other's exes. We both know how we feel. And you're going to sit here and get a gift for the kid in front of me. And try to hide it and then go to the family function and do all this extra stuff. Like, bro, are you serious? Are you done? Like, I really don't want to hear anything you're saying right now. Okay, so just leave then. I'm not going to leave. This is my house. Bro, I'm not saying leave the house. Leave the room. Get no. Out. Get out, I'm not going to leave the room. You just expect me to Wait. be chill. You expect me to be chill when you get your ex a gift. You expect me to be chill. Make it make sense. Can you let me talk? Go ahead, talk. Let, I want to hear what, what other buffoonery comes out of your mouth. because that's I'm just, just saying, we ended on bad terms. Mm -hmm. And then we talked it out. We're good. And when did y'all talk it out? After we broke up. When was this? Because now this is another thing now. All of a sudden, you guys you guys made up and all that. I didn't know about that. Why Never. do you have to know? Like, why do you need to know all this information? Bro, you in a relationship with me. What are you talking about? We're in a relationship. It's all in the past. It, why does don't it matter. matter. When, was it when we were together? What do you mean? No. All right, bro. You know what? I don't have time for this. What do you have time for? I don't have time for this, bro. Whatever. Whatever. Nothing. Get your get, bro. Get get the kid a gift and all that. I'm gonna get him a gift too. I'm gonna send him a bag of shit. How about that? <laughs> you think it's funny? It's really not. You're nasty. Stop, bro. Don't Cochino. Don't you think it's funny? It's really not. Babe. What? <laughs> Look at me. What? <laughs> You're still laughing like it's funny. I'm not laughing. I'm being dead serious. It's a prank. <laughs> this is for you. Don't be lying. I'm not lying here. Open it. <laughs> Look how fast your mood changed. Look how fast your mood changed. Are you lying? I'm not lying. Open it. <laughs> I had to do a little twist. So, here you go. I know you've been stressed lately. All right, you just gonna rip the ball off like that? <laughs> I know you've been stressed lately, and I came across something that I know you wanted for a really long time. I want to open it like gently. Just rip it. Flip <laughs> it off. No, you didn't. Boss got a little dented in the mail. No, you didn't. Don't look at the price tag. That's the receipt? Let me see that. No! no. Bro, you got me cool gray elevens? <laughs> Alright, why do you have to smell them? Bro, there's nothing like the. Wait, no. are you happy? Bro, I love the smell of a fresh You really smell. wanted those, right? Yes, these are cool gray elevens, bro. These are the elevens that I wanted for like a minute now. Yeah. These are fire. Can I get knuckles? Oh, that smells great. Team Janice? No, Alright, so you Yeah, 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 you got the right size? Yeah, size eight. Oh, that's nice. Oh. 
You like them? Wait, well, it's not a prank, right? These are real. These aren't fake, right? No, they're real. Alright. So, okay, okay, okay. Are you happy? Yes. Yay! So it's a W, two W's in my book, baby. Two W's? Mm hmm. What do you mean two W's? I got you with a prank. And on top of that, <laughs> oh. I got you a gift. So that's two W's because you're happy. Not sure. Mwah. Yeah, <laughs> I love you. I'm glad I love you too. I'm about to go. Oh. Now you're gonna help me put it in the closet. Now I'm gonna go put these to the collection. Mm -hmm. Alright, from the fam, so I clearly got Isaiah with that banger, but he is happy, so that makes me happy. It's actually, like I said, two W's because I got him with a prank, and I also got him some nice, beautiful Jordans that he's wanted for so long. So, guys, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down below, Team Janice. And it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Chris Tucker. Shout out to you. We have the same last name, period. Is we cousins? But anyway, with all that being said, I love you, Infinite Fam, and we will catch you in the next banger.